are you prepared? I'm going to do this video a million times so I get it people through people's head. Hurricane Dorian came and went, and I got an email I'm going to share with you right now from a guy up in Canada. He says, hey, Josh, just getting back online after the hurricane passed over us. I have 13 of your videos to watch before I uh, get caught up. <laughs> Dorian knocked out power for nearly 40 hours. It was very boring being without lights, internet, or TV. During that time, we had no water to flush the toilets because we use a well. During the actual storm, I got up in the middle of the night to watch what was happening outside. I couldn't believe how much the power poles were bending in the wind. We lost a few trees on our property. All the apples from our apple trees are now on the ground. Yummy. Funny thing is we have some plum trees that were very heavily weighted with thousands of plums. That's pretty cool. Remarkably, few of them had ended up on the ground. Vegetable garden survived well, too. I noticed today the birds are back after the storm, and I wonder how they kept themselves from being blown away. Anyway, uh, all safe in here in Canada. I just need a shower. That, I've always, yeah, how, where do the birds go? I've always wondered, where do the uh, deer, where do they go during a hurricane or during a thunderstorm and all that? I've never understood that. Do they just sit there? All right, making sure Pablo's okay back there. Heard a weird noise. All right, so I want to share this from the Census Bureau. Measuring America, now this is my man's up in Canada. This is Measuring America. How ready are we for national disaster or emergency preparedness? To better understand the needs of first responders and other emergency workers, the 2017 American Housing Survey asked U.S. residents how prepared they are for disasters. Uh, do you have a, uh, at least three gallons or 24 bottles of water for each person in the house? Yes, 58% said they did. Uh, household has enough non-perishable food to sustain everybody in the household for three days. 81% of the people said they did. Prepared emergency evacuation kit. 53% of the people said they did. Emergency meeting location. 36% of the people said they did. Communication plan. A quarter of the people said they did. Now, this is, what, this is where the problem here is. Evacuation vehicle. All right, 91% of the people said they had an evacuation vehicle. The vehicle must be reliable and able to carry all household member pets and supplies up to 50 miles away. So this is where we have an issue of learning. I share with you here in just a second. Evacuation vehicle, 91% of the people said they did in the good old U.S. of A. Evacuation funds. If you had to evacuate your home for a safe place at least 50 miles away, do you have financial resources to meet expenses of 2000 bucks? 75% of the people just said they did, yet we hear all the time, we can't come up with $400, so we have a huge disconnect there, right? You hear all the studies, we don't have $400, and yet 75% of the people said they have evacuation funds, they can come up with $2,000. That was weird, okay. Generator present. Only 18.7% of the people said they had a generator present. Hmm. 91% of the people said they have an evacuation vehicle. 18% of the people said they had a generation, a generator present. Oh, yeah. You have a generator if you have an evacuation vehicle. If you can drive 50 miles, that means you have gas in the car. That means you have a generator. You just need two things, a cable and an inverter. That's it. Cables to plug your stuff in, to, in or, I mean, cables to plug your inverter up to the... the uh, battery in your car and then of course cables to plug it in so you can plug in your electronics that's it folks you have a generator if 91 percent of the people have an evacuation vehicle 91 percent of the people have a generator and so my man here says they didn't have uh lights or internet i get that or tv hey come here come here he says hold on a second what's up what's up with you big man oh yeah yikes well pablo says he wants to be part of the video all right there we go. <laughs> so Pablo says, yep, yeah, I want to be part of this. So he uh, hears me yapping. He's like, oh, no, I want to be part of this. And he sees my boy out there, too. He's like, what's going on? All right. So, again, your generator, is, your vehicle is your generator. Please understand how this works. I will put a link into the show notes for you new here. You just need an inverter. And you just need a couple cables. And that's it, man. Please understand that because you do. You probably won't be able to run your Wi-Fi because that's probably down. But you certainly could run your TV. You can certainly run your lights. Hell, you can run your fridge. You can run, uh, you know, you're not going to run heat, obviously, but you can run your fridge. You can run an ice box. 
I mean, you, you have access to lights, you have access to TV, you have access to appliances if you just have the right equipment and the equipment is so doggone cheap, there's no reason not to have it. So let me put that back on. Oh, whoa, 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 there he is, look at that guy. Yeah, Pablo's a Patriots fan. Pablo, can you say hi? Hi, everybody, it's me, Pablo. Anyway, so you do have a generator. Please understand, I'll put a link in the show note on the video how this works, because it's important for you to understand you have lights, you have TV, you have appliances, if you just know how to do it. All right, we'll see you next time.